Hi guys, and happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, May 22nd, and it's 5 a.m. here in Chicagoland, and I have not yet been to bed. I've been working on prepping things for the new catalog and for my upcoming garage sale, and time just got away from me. I was also working on my DSP collection, so I'm going to show you. So we're not going to make a card today. We're going to show you the DSPs and what I've done with those. Also, for those of you who watched my video yesterday, I figured this out. When I was trying to put it in, apparently I had stripped the um, end of that, so that's why it wasn't catching. Put a little scotch tape around that end, and then it screwed in perfectly fine. So as you can see, I already have that um, billowing out of the end. Okay, so what we're working on is these... Uh, different samplers, the DSP samplers, and some of these I haven't put like little glue dots on or I haven't taped them together like I like to because these are the ones that have 12 different designs in the packet so they don't fit in here really good. So anyway, here's T Boutique. Now these are a 6x6 six six, so they're really fun. So here you have strips of all the different ones. Here are your colors up here that are coordinating with it. And then there's the back side. Look how much fun those are. So that's T Boutique. Next, oh, I was going to try to go in order here. So now we're going to go with Butterfly Kisses. And I thought I had them in order over here, but obviously I don't. So let me go ahead and grab out Butterfly Kisses. Again, I have to, these have... 12 different in the stack because they're a stack so I need to kind of either tape these down or do something so they'll stay in place but here you have those and there's the back sides so that is butterfly kisses uh, next I'm going to do he's the man so let me go ahead and grab that out now what I do, and everyone does theirs a little bit differently, what I like to do is I have these old 12 by 12s from that we used to sell, oh, I don't know how long ago we got rid of them. So the they're in the 12 by 12. I have the little uh, label. And then what I do is I'll put this straight in there. Now there is a blank here on this one because they have those wonderful die cuts. So that is He's the Man. So much fun, so much fun. Next one is Hues of Happiness. So this, now what's nice about this is that you have different colors going across. What's not so great is when you cut your little examples, they don't really show all the colors. So anyway, there's Hues of Happiness. So there's the back side, a lot of uh, wash, and then that. And I believe that these match up to the dies, if I remember correctly. Some of them match up, some don't. Oops, I put that down backwards. Put it back here. There you go. Okay. Oh my gosh. Pretty prints. Now let me go ahead and grab that out. Now, I have to look closely here because it says sweet sorbets in here. And I don't remember seeing sweet sorbets. So let's take out the full sheets so we can look and see. See, I don't see sweet sorbet yet there. Oh, you know what? I wonder if this is the sweet sorbet. I bet you that's what they're considering the sweet sorbet. See how it's kind of dark red there? That's probably your sweet sorbet look. It is. Look at that. There you can really tell it's a sweet sorbet. Okay. So solve that mystery. Um, but yes, yeah, so there's, and again, these, these are really hard because you only get one sheet of each, but you get the four main colors and the three different patterns. So really, really fun on those. All right. Um, 
the Hostess set. Now, this is a huge set. So this is in an old, when we used to go to convention, we would get our um, make and takes in this. So I have this, and this is your Design a Daydream Hostess set. Very, very fun. 48 12 by 12 pages. So you get four each of 12 designs. So very, very fun. That's how old they are. I have to put, I have to put new Velcro on that. So that's my next thing. Get some Goo Gone or whatever that's called and get that fixed. Okay. Abigail Rose. Now, I didn't get all of the papers, guys, just so you know. I got most of them, but I didn't get all of them. Abigail Rose. So you have one side that's a lot of cool patterns. This side, you could actually use your blends and color in on these. Looks fat, would look fabulous. And that way you can go ahead and coordinate them to whatever color you want. Um, a wash in beauty. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And it may just be because I love Mary Malo, one of my favorite colors, Mango Melody, but Mary Malo, I love burgundies. So you have those, then you have all of those on the back. All right. Very, very, very cool. Let's see. Oh, these I'm going to take out. I'll take out the partial sheets. This is called Texture Sheet. Okay, and I'm leaving the big cardboard in there just because this is a specialty paper and I want to make sure that it doesn't get crinkled. So I'll take out these sheets that were cut, but I don't know if you could tell, but they have gold leafing on them. Gold accents, foil accents. So just absolutely, positively beautiful. So there's your colors. Look, Mango Melody. Love it. And then there's the back sides. Just absolutely, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. And then, let's see. I only have a couple more left. Oh, they're falling all the way over here. Sorry. Lovely in Linen. So, a lot of good patterns on the front side. And look at those for masculine cards. So, these could be mostly feminine looking cards, but look, masculine and great patterns. Absolutely, absolutely love it. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. This one is very cute. And this is from a set, let's see, it's a million dollar sales, did the stamp set and the die set. Not sure if she also helped design the paper, but it's called Happy Forest Friends. So you have all these cute and these great patterns. The thing about this is you don't see, like here's the bear, but you don't see on this little section when we do this, you don't see the owls, you don't see the fox. So... Very cute paper. Great for scrapbooking, too. Would be so fabulous for scrapbooking. Um, and last, but certainly not least, sun prints. Okay, so you have mostly those blues. Grin, going to be great for masculine cards. So, very, very pretty. They were telling us how this was inspired by... Um, you know, when you were a kid, you put a leaf on a piece of paper, leave it out in the sun for two or three days, and then it makes like that, that sun, you know, that bleaching almost effect. So anyway, guys, no cards today. Just going through these designer papers. Those are the ones I have gotten. Um, there's more out there. And as I get them, I'll show them to you again. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. And have a great day.